In this video we're going to look at how we can use views in Power Apps. So our views are going to be created in the Dataverse and we're going to bring that view into Power Apps. So why should we use a view? Well, if you've used filters in Power Apps then you know that you can produce a subset of data to show on the screen. So you could just as easily do that in the Dataverse and you could then do that by creating a view and then you would access that view within Power Apps. So here I've got a table called Order Contacts and I put some data into it here. So at the moment it's just showing first name but if I click on Views and I click on Add View we're going to create a brand new view here so let's call it Order Contacts UK because I just want to show the ones from the UK in this example. So let's click Create. So we have the first name column here. So what else do I want to show in my view? So perhaps I'd bring in the last name as well. And perhaps. country. Now on the right hand side here it says no filters are present. So I want to add a filter. Now at the moment we can see we have various records with country names in them here. So most of them are for the UK but we've also got USA, Lithuania and Italy. So if I click on edit filters I want to add a new filter here so add row and what are we saying well we're gonna say country equals UK and that's it now if I click OK we can see it's just filtered out all the names in the UK so that's it, that's our filter done. And remember we called it Order Contacts UK. So if I now save that and I also want to publish it so if we come back into this screen and click on the views we can see that now we've published our Order Contacts UK it's showing up here so now I'm in Power Apps and the first thing I want to do is, well I've created a, a new screen here so now I'm going to insert a gallery on it so select vertical and now it's asking for the data source so before I do that what I need to do is I need to refresh the data source so the table I'm dealing with is called Order Contacts it's from the Dataverse and by clicking this button here and then refresh it's going to refresh it so you might find your views are not immediately showing in your Power Apps application but by doing a refresh then that's refreshing everything that's in there and it will bring across any changes you've made so now if I click on the gallery come along here to where it says data source and select the order contacts table underneath it it gives me a views option so if I click that we can see at the bottom there this is a list of views but right at the bottom is the one I created called Order Contacts UK so if I select that we can now see that it's showing those UK records so if we come back into our Dataverse and we open up our view that's what we have, four records there and in our Power Apps we're showing the same four records. So instead of using filters directly in Power Apps you might find you have certain situations where it's just as easy to create a view 
in the Dataverse and access it directly from Power Apps. So I hope that's given you an idea of how to create a view in the Dataverse and use it in Power Apps. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please click the button to like it, or why not subscribe to my channel? Or you can even download my free Power Apps for Newbies book at www.powerappsfornewbies.com.